Tom, was there any uh, sense of relief when uh, made official, or you just pretty much say, I'm, I'm okay? No, for sure. Always a sense of relief when, you know, they put that out. Um, you know, it's a, in this business, I, like, you know, you never know. So i um, definitely very blessed and very honored to, you know, be here and be a part of the roster for sure. Playing your best football since you've been here? For sure. I think um, over the past couple of years, I feel like I've really just grown as a player, as a person, and um, really got to understand what the game is like and really just lock in this year and know what I had to do coming in. Um, and I just feel I feel better than ever, for sure. After the Washington game, you, you referenced kind of changing up what you did a little bit. This obviously, can, can you go into a little more detail as to, as to what that was? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, going, um, being in the league for the past two years, you know, you kind of get, you obviously, you get an idea of how things work, how the game is played, how much faster the game is played, um, how things are ran. So, um, you know, coming in, I knew what I had to do in the off season. So, I, you know, obviously I got a new trainer with uh, Chad Marr with Marr Strength out in uh, Frisco. He has a new facility now, but um, just kind of switching up little things like that, um, getting my old high school receiver coach, getting drills in earlier on in the off season, just doing stuff and just knowing what type of shape I had to be in and just knowing how much work I had to put in to come and per, uh, perform during the season. I don't think you ever feel secure in the NFL. I mean, it's proven that no job is safe, but was it extremely difficult or stressful to see kind of the off-season moves and the names that were coming in here? And then kind of knowing when you look at the roster, there's not much room. This is going to be a big competition. Oh, yeah, always. I mean, you see uh, them bringing guys in, you know, obviously that means there's only so many spots left. So um, that's always, you know, a little bit stressful, but also look at it as a challenge, you know what I mean? Um, you know, this game is all – Everything's competitive, so um, you know it's never hurt somebody to come out and compete. So uh, I think that's that was a good thing, you know, just for me to be able to realize that and come out and know what I had to do and just come out and just compete with everybody. How big a factor do you think special teams was in the equation, and what do you expect the role to be there? Uh, I think it was a huge factor for me. Um, you know, I'm very uh, honored to you know be able to be able to be on such a great special team program just like the Ravens are. So um, I think that was a huge help for me. Um, you know, and obviously I'll continue to take pride in, in that and being on all special teams and just, uh, you know, just keep it going. Uh, change nothing from what I've been doing. I've been on special teams since I got drafted here. So I plan to continue that throughout my whole career. So I was kind of building off that. Right? So you talk about getting your wide receivers, coaches involved in the and trainers. Is that something that you took into focus throughout the offseason, just working on your special teams ability? Is that something that you can necessarily train for individually? Um, I think that's kind of more of like for an, an individual thing, you know what I mean, especially with certain positions that you play on special teams. But um, definitely was a factor that I knew going into it, I needed to, you know, probably step step it up there for sure. And, um, you know, just keep keep working at it and keep doing what I was doing. So um, I knew going into it, I don't know if really uh, special teams is a thing you, uh, a lot of guys can really work on in the off season, But, um, you know, I think it was a thing that you were definitely know, I knew that I had to definitely be great at to be able to make the team for sure. Tom, there are guys... Right, um, Ravens. I, I think of Anthony Levine, mm -hmm. a guy who was known for his commitment to special teams. Can you be proud to be a guy who makes his way in the NFL, even if that's all they know you? Oh, for sure. I mean, like I said, there's three phases of the game. You know, special teams is one of those phases. So, I mean, it's just, it's just as important as offense and defense. So, I mean, I would be just happy to be on the field at all. So, I mean, that, you know, that doesn't matter to me, offense, defense, special teams. I mean, as long as I'm on the field playing football and just competing, you know, I'm happy. What's it been like sharing a meeting room with Odell Beckham? It's crazy. So, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So when he first got here, it was kind of like, oh, wow. Like, you know what I mean? I remember watching this dude like growing up and now like I'm his teammate. So it's crazy to definitely be, um, you know, teammates with guys like that and um, being able to, you know, pick their brains and just see how they work and, you know, just hearing their past experiences and just learning from them. What's something that you've been able to glean from them so far? Yeah, so I mean, uh, just a few things, more you know, just football related stuff, just kind of like how we run certain routes and stuff like that. So it's crazy, like last year we actually had a route named called Odell. So it's crazy to come, you know, actually have him here and be like, all right, so, you know, that's that's his route. So we ask him how he runs that and different things he does versus different looks. So it's, it's awesome to have a guy like that on our team. What's that? No, it's kind of that um, that uh, end zone corner, I guess you could call it. We call that a kind of an Odell route. So we kind of good to be able to pick his brain about that route for sure. What's that? It's a, we call it like an end zone corner route, kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's great. I mean, obviously, with guys like Nelly and having Odell, like those older vet guys, you know, it's pretty great. You know, um, I feel like the meeting room is pretty, it's fun, but also we're, we're focused at the same time. You know what I mean? We're, we're getting in, doing what we're supposed to do, learning what we're supposed to be learning, and we're also having fun. So um, it's really good to have those older guys, like I was saying earlier, just to be able to pick their brains and then having that knowledge um, of just 
reading defenses and just reading corner play and stuff like that. So it's great to have those older guys. Was there a conversation that let you know you made the team, or was there nothing said that made you know you made the team? So there was, yeah, there was actually nothing said. So I figured if you know I, nobody said anything, I, I figured I was good. Were you looking at like four o'clock the time? I was. I was waiting. I sat in my car and I waited till it hit four, and I was like, all right, I'm good. So and, the, and then I drove home, so I was good for sure. I was. I was parked right outside for sure. With Lamar and you know with you here the past couple years and before you got here, week one this offense was just not waited long to get going. I guess what is it about either Lamar or, or this offense's ability to lock in and really get that, that head start on the season? Oh, I mean, I think it's, it's great, especially we, I mean, having all the guys. The guys that we have just on the whole team in general, I mean, we can do great things. So I think having everybody locked in, everybody, you know, just really focuses in and knowing what we have the capability to do this season, I think we're going to be great. We're going to be awesome. You and Munkin both have the Oklahoma State recruits. Did that help you strike up a rapport with him at all? A little bit, yeah. You know, we could go back and kind of, he was there before I was there, but um, definitely, you know, brings up some stories or some things that, you know, that he he was, uh, a lot of the coaches that were with Munkin when I was there. So when I went there, all the coaches that coached with Munkin were still there. So it was great to, um, you know, kind of talk to them a little bit, get an idea. Because before, when when he first got hired, I talked to them. They were telling me Munkin's a great guy, you know, get to know him. He's awesome. So it was, uh, it's nice to have that Oklahoma State love, you know, back in the, back in this building. Do you think that uh, his arrival is part of the reason and that has helped you maybe sort of teach the game, but just kind of be playing at your best right now? Is that... I think I think the way I mean I, I would say just the um, you know really the the kind of want to throw the ball has kind of helped and I, I also I feel like ties into Oklahoma State as well you know it's kind of we were air raid offense so I feel like that um, you know bringing in a guy like Monk and knowing that that's his intentions definitely wanted me make me want to step it up and be like I want to be a part of an offense like that and I want to be able to you know be a part where we're throwing the ball down the field and you know receivers are just making plays. All good. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.